Hello, welcome everybody right to another Facebook Live. It's Frilici Friday. We are here, we are ready to go. I am Amy Frilici and we are here to have some fun today, ladies. So this week we are going to be playing with, this is the Artful Amaryllis Bundle. It is a beautiful stamp and die set. So I'm gonna show you the stamp set first. We have those beautiful images, right? And so you can stamp just the outline. You can kind of watercolor it in with the stamps. You could also use like blender pens or um, lots of different coloring options to kind of make those beautiful flowers. Hello, Miss Kathy, and thanks for joining us. We also have sentiments like, you made my day, sending happy thoughts. There's a little thanks and a hello. And then lastly, wishing you a bright and beautiful Christmas. Hi, Linda, welcome, welcome. Then check out this awesome set of dies. If I flip that open, maybe you guys can see it a little bit better. So you can see that the stamp set, right? The um, That beautiful amaryllis, you can die cut the full or we're gonna have lots of fun die cutting um, with those other dies on designer series paper. And then it makes this beautiful texture on there too. So awesome bundle stamp and die set that we are going to be playing with. So thank you guys for joining me. Hello, Miss Deb, thanks for joining us. If one of you or maybe all of you want to comment, I am trying to figure out, because I think the last couple of Facebook Lives, I have not been able to see comments. So I wondered, I'm gonna just, there's like a Way to kind of swipe let's see what does it say swipe left to see comments and reactions okay so i'm going to swipe back left so i i feel like i should be able it's so weird though yay okay i see bonnie saying good morning and amy hello or linda is saying hello amy and everyone okay awesome so i wonder if maybe i just had to like do that it was funny because I meant to like ever since our last Facebook Live, Lori, hello and welcome. I've been trying to like, well, I've been thinking I need to get on there and figure out what the problem is with the um, comments. And then I just found my note <laughs> to remind me to do that. I'm like, oh, shoot, we're supposed to go live like right now. So anyway, all right, good. We got those technical difficulties worked out. I'm really happy about that. I'm loving because I was so bummed. I'm like, is really no one commenting at all on our last couple of Facebook Lives? And then I'd look later and I'm like oh there were lots of comments and I just didn't see any of them so okay good we're back on track love 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 that right um oh okay so I had a birthday last Friday we actually went to Mackinac Island one of my absolute favorite places because I love to ride bikes and Mackinac is a place where they don't allow cars if you guys are from Michigan everybody knows that right um, but if you're from further away come visit someday and go up to Mackinac Island it is like the cutest quaintest like just the most fun little place ever so lots of you know cute shops and restaurants and all kinds of fun you can have like kind of on the main street but then you can literally ride all the way around the island it's 8.2 miles you have a beautiful view of the lake the entire way around the island which is really awesome because how many times <clears throat> i was saying that how many times can you ride over eight miles and I have a view of the water the entire way, right? And then lots of fun trails like um, kind of in the middle and through the island too. So um, had lots and lots of fun. I celebrated my birthday with Mike and then actually I wanted to share with you guys some birthday cards also. So this is a super cute card. I remember this designer series paper list. This is like fun, bright, bold designer series paper. This is from my friend Stacy Decker. So she's got her own, it's backwards I know, but she's got her own little um, handmade by Stacy Decker stamp um, with the little happy birthday on that one. And then let's see, this one is from Teresa Hinchman. This one is super cute too. I loved this designer series paper also. And I think, oh, it is. Yeah, I, I was like, how do I open this? So it kind of tucks down behind that little happy birthday. And then this opens up like that, right? And so she did, she used my little trick too. So isn't that cute on the inside also all the decoration. So she said happy birthday on a sticky so I can reuse and give this card to someone else, which I totally love to do. And then also, let's see, this one is from Miss Sharon Greening. So Sharon is um, one of our Inkspired Stampers team members. And I was checking this card out. Okay, so like, how do you open this, right? So this one kind of slips inside. I don't wanna like, I'm trying to show you guys. Yeah, so can you see how it's coming out right here? So you slip that. And then Sharon used the sticky note technique also. So then this little guy, 
I kind of get that lined back up. Of course, now that I'm trying to do it on live TV, right? It won't. Oh, I think I'm putting it behind. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it goes behind that little piece right there. I was trying to put it in front of it. So isn't that so pretty? I love. That is the, um, I think it's the Painted Lavender Designer Series paper that we can still order. So thank you, ladies, for the birthday cards. And then Teresa actually made, um, this was something uh, that Teresa Hinchman made um, and sent it with her swaps. And it's a cute little treat box. You guys know I love making these little treat boxes, right? <clears throat> so this one says, for you, on the little tag. And then check out the fun inside, right? So the little box that opens up. And she made this cute little keychain holder it's a little mini is it um what is it called cross stitch <laughs> i i used to when i was a little kid i think i used to do this with my mom but i haven't done it in a long time but the little bumblebee isn't that so cute so thank you miss Teresa. and it fits perfectly in that little box right there so that was very sweet thank you ladies um okay so i think i want to show you guys let's see <clears throat> hello miss trish welcome welcome i don't know if i've missed anybody if I haven't said hello, it's not because I don't want to say hi. It's because I missed your name scrolling through there, I think. So I apologize. Okay, so let's see. Um, designer Series Paper Share. Amy, hello, Miss Amy. Amy, welcome, welcome. So we have Designer Series Paper Share. This is all, look at how thick that is, right? So you get all this paper for $38, ladies. So you get the 6x6 six six pieces, right? And then a bunch of 6x12 six pieces of designer series paper look at the glimmer paper like i love okay i have to like flip back because you get three um sheets of glimmer paper too look at that sparkly paper we're gonna have some fun that that says christmas right there right so yes all of this paper just 38 dollars. i'm still taking orders for that and then you get a little half a pack of these are some regal gems if you can kind of see right so if you're interested, let me know. I'm including the link right here with the um, Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded um, or comment right here if you're interested. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, I guess I did, yeah. So I, I got my hair highlighted and low lighted. So maybe it does look a little bit different. Isn't that funny? You know how like when it's on your own head, you don't really notice differences like that. And maybe it's a little bit darker. I don't know. Definitely got it caught. I've been like, yeah, I keep going a little bit shorter and a little bit shorter. So, uh, oh, Linda, no worries. No worries at all about birthday cards. I totally get it. I know um, when you have surgery, right? You get behind on lots and lots of things. So just keep your head above water, right? So no worries. I know you guys are all so sweet. So thank you for the birthday wishes, however they come, uh, through cards, through messages, through posts on here. I love them all. So thank you guys for that. Um, okay, let's see. So what else do I want to show you guys? Oh, we have a new scrapbooking brochure. I'm pretty sure that I shared this with you guys last time, but I have product I can share with you guys now. I think we kind of flipped through here. So this, I just printed it. Um, you can't, uh, there aren't printed versions, like unless you want to go online um, and pull this up. I wonder if you can do that. If not, I can send you the link if you have a way to do a color printer. I love having this um, in my hot little hands. If not, it's online, so you can look at all the products online as well. And there's actually even more information, you know, more description um, online about each of the products. So when we flip the camera down, I'm gonna show you, I have a couple of things that I've ordered out of here and I wanna share those with you guys. So, But I don't want them to be backwards, so we're gonna do that in just a little while, okay? Um. So let's see, I think, we are actually ready for our first, ooh, and you know what I just realized? One sec, I have to go grab a couple things because I put them, on, <laughs> put them on the counter out this way so I could take pictures of them before we did Facebook Live. Didn't actually take pictures of them, so they're not here. So one moment, I'm gonna run and grab a couple things that I'm just now realizing. running either ladies I have done something I've tweaked I'm gonna say I've tweaked my knee um yeah <laughs> so I worked out on 
Monday was fine. We rode bikes all weekend. It was fine. I had a problem a couple of weeks ago. Um, and that was actually like just walking in the house. There'd be like the shooting pain, like literally just taking a step. And I'd be like, oh, what am I, what am I doing to my knee? Like nothing. I was just walking. Um, and so yeah, Tuesday after I worked out, it just started getting really tight. It's kind of been a little bit puffy for a while. So Anyway, I got steroids a few weeks ago and that did help just taking like oral steroids, um, but clearly there's something else going on. So yeah, as I said, I was gonna go run. I'm like, there's no running in my life right now. So I took a couple days off from working out and I really, that's like a big part of what helps me feel good. Um, and so I did it again today and now I'm probably gonna pay for it, but I tried to take it easy. So anyway, okay, so yeah, no running, okay? Even though if I say I'm gonna run, <laughs> there's no running. Um, okay, so let's see, we are gonna do our drawing. This is where we're at. You guys are getting lots of extra information today. Uh, okay, so we are drawing for the 2023-25 in color. These are the opaque sparkle dots. And I have been using these a lot. So for example, um, on a card, I'll show you guys in just a little while, that wild wheat, that one that's just, there's a whole row of them up there. Um, I've used those as kind of a, a crushed curry color because I think those can kind of be um, either wild wheat or crushed curry. And even, um, what is it, copper clay, I think could kind of be Cajun craze too. So they're really good like fall colors is what I'm thinking and what I've been using them for. So, okay, in here we have names. If you shared our last Facebook Live video to any group you're a part of or to your Facebook page, if you commented on my random post that I picked, so comment away on the post right here on our Facebook group and one post, uh, all the comments get their names entered in here. What else? If you share a picture of a project that you've made or if you sign up for my email list. Okay, I'm trying to get... I don't like it when I feel them all bunched up, so I gotta get them all separated out so everyone has a good, fair shot at their name being drawn. And the lucky winner is Miss Nancy Gulick. All right, congratulations, Miss Nancy. You are the winner of the 2023-2025 in color opaque sparkle dots. So I will get those put out on the porch for you. All right, I'm gonna dump those out. Whoops, I didn't mean to actually drop that. Okay, and so you guys, these are kind of, um, well, I don't wanna say I forgot about them, but I haven't used them in a while, and I think they're just beautiful gems like for kind of Christmas holiday time. So these are called the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. Uh, and so this is what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live. So again, share this video, sign up for my email list, post a picture of a project or comment on, um, Hello, Miss Teresa. <laughs> Comment on a post that we made right here in our Facebook group and your name will go in the drawing. We are gonna be back live two weeks from today. So the very beginning of October, I think it probably comes out to maybe like October 4th. We'll be back again live two weeks from now and we will draw for those. Again, they are called the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. Okay. Ooh, let's see what else do I wanna show you guys. Actually, quick sip of water, one moment. Mm. I just can't tell you how happy it makes me to see comments there. There's another comment. Hello, <laughs> Teresa. Thank you. They're working. I was just saying that earlier. The comments are showing up. So I'm very happy about that. Um, oh, and also I want to say thank you guys because I have seen like an increase in posting right here on our Facebook group. I think, um, well, summer, you know, maybe you're not in your craft room as much, but I think people are kind of starting to um, get the itch, you know, to get back in their craft rooms and start making cute fall and Halloween and holiday projects, cards, little gift items, whatever it is. We are all curious about what each or other are up to in our craft room. So please feel free to share any level of crafter. You don't have to, don't feel like, oh, I'm not good enough. Like my projects aren't good enough to share. Everyone's projects are good enough and beautiful enough to be shared right here on our Facebook group. And it also encourages other people that might be like, oh, I don't know if I should or if my projects are good enough to share on the Facebook group. If other people see people posting, then I think it encourages them too. And that they're great for ideas, right? So um, I appreciate the sharing that has happened and I love to 
encourage you to continue to share right here on our Facebook group because I love to see what you guys are up to also. Take lots of ideas from people's projects that you've posted too. Uh, wheels are always turning of, oh, how could I use that idea um, on a project too? So I appreciate your sharing as well. Um, okay, so I want to show you guys. Let's see. Um, okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you guys the make and takes that we had from our meeting. Where are my notes? I'm kind of like flying by the seat of my pants, but I think I'm good, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm on track. Okay. So these are the make and takes that we made at our team meeting um, this week on Tuesday. We had our team meeting, so um, they feature. I think it's called the Regal Flora bundle. So there's a stamp and die set. And then we did use some of the Regal something or other designer series paper. That's what those little leaves right there. So they're die cut um, designer series paper. And then this is some stamping and die cutting. And then with that beautiful, the wild wheat ribbon, which again, I think you can kind of bend that color if you need something um, in crushed curry. I think you could kind of use that um, as a crushed curry accent as well. Now, I don't know if you guys can see there, you can kind of see, we did some fun scoring. So this one has like a diamond pattern on it. So we scored kind of diagonally this way and then across this way to make these cool diamond patterns on the white cardstock. So that was one of them. Here's another one. And all of these sentiments are in that Regal Flora stamp set too. So this one, we did some scoring across that piece and then kind of vertically right there. If you guys can, I don't know, it's not showing up very well. Um, and then this is a beautiful die and then a cool label die in there too. And then this is some of that Regal, maybe Regal Winter designer series paper. So that's another one. And then here, this is kind of a fun one. <laughs> Mine kind of went crazy. This is ribbon that you the pull apart and then all the little strands we tied into a bow. Um, that's like a two inch circle punch and then some more stamping and die cutting. And let me see. So we made, they're really hard to see on this one, um, kind of diagonal scoring, probably like five or six lines diagonally scored across there. So that's that one. So that's like a new thing that I haven't um, done in a really long time is this kind of scoring on our cardstock. Now this one, we've got, I think it's like six or seven lines that we just went vertically right there. And I don't know if you can see that, but that beautiful designer series paper too. I love that, the pretty blues, right? And it says, sending love your way. So those were our make and takes from our team meeting. Then we also have, oh, our mystery project that we made this month. So this is one where I post all of the measurements um, for a project, but I don't actually show the project until um, the night of the meeting. So <clears throat> anybody on our team can participate live at the meeting or on the Facebook um, live that we do for a team meeting. So they bring all of their um, pieces already cut and ready to go. And then they put their mystery project together um, as I put mine together. And then I do post this on our separate Inkspired Stampers Facebook group um, and they can get entries into our um, drawing each month if they participate and make a um, another project, a mystery project, either at our team meeting or if they post it on our Facebook group. But isn't that kind of, so I keep kind of like playing, but it's like a kind of a stair-steppy type of card. Isn't that cool though? Very pretty, right? Okay, then, oh, okay, I'm gonna show you guys this one now. So top five sellers um, all get a card from me each month. So uh, sorry, I'm these have to actually be mailed out. So maybe um, spoiling if anybody's in our top five and watching, this is the card you're gonna receive um, for congratulations on reaching uh, top five in sales for the month. You also, if you sold over $600 as a part of our team, oh, I do have that right here. It's actually this beautiful, can you guys see? It's the Cherry Cobbler and Gold. You can't really see it very well. It's actually unorderable right now, but here, we're gonna have to show you guys this because it is beautiful. So everyone that sold over $600, got a $600 club prize, which this month, I have to show you guys, because I think it's so pretty. I wanted to use it on our projects today, actually, um, but uh, we can't order it for a while, so I thought, oh, I don't want to tease you guys. I don't know. Can you see? 
the gold edges right there too. So hello, Miss Deb, and thank you, Trish. I'm glad you like that card. Okay, so yeah, that was the $600 club prize this month. And then what else? Oh, we have swaps also. Um, I'm gonna share these with you guys too. Okay, so let's see. As usual, trying to stay organized. So this one is from Sharon Greening. Isn't that beautiful, like quilted? Um, like it's a quilt pattern, right? My mom used to be a huge, she loved to make quilts. So I definitely have seen that pattern before. Uh, me, not, I'm not, not so, <laughs> I literally was gonna say I'm not so crafty because I'm really not. I would like that, that's like supposed to be kept under wraps though, right? <laughs> My mom was definitely very creative, I would say. I try to be, and that's like the beauty of Stampin' Up, right, is you kind of don't have to be crafty and creative. There are so many like great ideas out there, and then even the catalogs can kind of help guide you. The products and the coordination of the products make it easy to make cute stuff. So yeah, that's funny. Um, okay, so this, isn't this a gorgeous card? This one is from Elsie Lynch, and I have haven't really even looked that closely at this but this is beautiful right with the wild wheat which is kind of one of those colors that you're like oh, I don't know what I think of that but this is absolutely beautiful Elsie okay here's a fun this is from uh, Charlene Mogg made this fun Halloween card isn't that super cute right the little flying the happy flying ghost with this purple hat very cute Ooh, this is another fun Halloween one. This is from Jenny Boffman with that cauldron. Oh my gosh, yeah, that is super duper cute too. Oh, and the little like broom. Ooh, and she actually colored. So that's some of the black and white gingham ribbon or maybe vanilla and white, and then she colored it green. That's super cute. What fun there also. <clears throat> Excuse me, Miss Teresa made this fun card. And she actually uh, fussy cut inside all of those little... Uh, butterflies right there so isn't that cute and then you can so you can kind of see that strip of designer series paper back there too right and then here's another beauty this one is from sunday ostrander love the colors here too right the kind of blues and tans um kind of a maybe not as traditional of a color combination for fall but absolutely gorgeous sunday love that one that's the changing leaves stamp and die set and then um i'm trying to think of the embossing folder name. I can't think of it right now, but can you guys see? I like that a lot too. Oh, so many good ideas. I'm like, ooh, look at all these cute cards I wanna make now too. And then this fun one too. This is, I think, um, something about autumn, not just for autumn or something like that. Um, stamp and die set. And so Nancy Gulick made this card. And so she actually um, used the plaid embossing folder and then added Cajun Craze ink and then ran so she just inked up the embossing folder, put some pumpkin pie cardstock in there and ran it through. And isn't that a cool effect too? So love that card also. So beautiful sharing <coughs> that the gals do as a part of our group also. So if you are ever considering getting the starter kit, get it through one of us here at the Inkspired Stampers group, because then you can be a part of our fabulous group. We do team meetings on our separate Inkspired Stampers Facebook group. We do swapping that even long distance members can participate in. You make your swaps, mail them in to me. I swap them out and send them back to you. You can get the make and take projects mailed to you. You can participate in our creative and business challenges and just be a part of our awesome, awesome group of ladies. Make some new friends, if nothing else, right? And share your crafty creations with everybody. So if ever you're interested in knowing more about the starter kit, it's always a great deal. If you're ever, <coughs> excuse me, thinking about ordering more than $100, think about getting the starter kit because essentially you pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. The ship is free shipping. There's no shipping like how we had free shipping day earlier this week. There's no shipping on the starter kit too. So a lot of times they'll, well, a couple of times a year, they'll put an added incentive in there, but the regular starter kit deal is always a great deal too. So keep that in mind. Okay, um, all right, I need another sip of water. Mm. And I really need to ice my knee. That's what I need to 
<laughs> I'm gonna be doing that right after we're done with Facebook Live. Okay, so quick reminder, uh, our one day retreat is coming up on Saturday, October 19th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma. If you are interested in joining us, we'll be at the Peace Lutheran Church that whole day. Basically come work on whatever you would like to work on. You get a goodie bag filled with $30 in product. We do make and takes um, that use some of your goodie bag product. Uh, what else? I feed you all day long. You don't have to worry about a thing. You just craft and play and um, hang out with, uh, you know, whoever you might want to hang out with that day um, and just enjoy the day doing whatever craft or just chatting. You could sit and talk all day long if you wanted to also. So anyway, great day. Would love to have you join us. RSVP and payment are due by the end of the month. So coming up quickly actually on Monday, September 30th is the last day to RSVP for our one day retreat right here in Alma. Okay, <clears throat> let me show you. Actually, we're going to do our next drawing, okay? So we have names in the drawing for, oops, that ribbon's like flying away here. This is the Iconic Imagery set of dies. This is what we're going to give away. Love, love, love these dies. I've been using, so this big label and that medium-sized label, even the baby one, I've been using those all oh, time you guys so your name is in the drawing if you put an online order through me using our host code you automatically are going to get both of these fun cards that i demonstrated on our last facebook live as a thank you from me you also are getting uh the whole month of september help me earn the incentive trip i'm getting close but i'm still not there you guys so i have until september 30th so mm, i don't know well 10 days i guess oh my gosh that's like reality is hitting me, right? So hopefully crossing my fingers. So if you're thinking about put an, putting an order in, do it by September 30th, pretty please. You get an additional five free handmade cards for me as well as a thank you for your order. And then don't forget you get to pick from the free embellishment for September, which these are beautiful. These are called the Earth Tones Shimmer Gems. Or if you would prefer, you can get the PDF tutorial for September, which features this beautiful card that I um, made and included in the tutorial. Hello, Miss Nikki. Welcome, welcome. So yes, if you're thinking about ordering, would love for you to use the host code and order through me and help me earn that incentive trip. I'm getting, I'm getting close, but yeah, like I said, I'm not quite there. So, okay. All right, I showed you guys all that. So all that good stuff is a thank you too. So there's really no reason not to order through me, right? <laughs> okay, and I'll give you guys the host code. It's also always on my blog at Gathering Inc. with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so one lucky winner is going to receive these iconic imagery dies. And the winner is Miss Tammy Mitchell. All right, congratulations, Tammy. You are the winner of those iconic imagery dies, so I will get those sent out to you. Thank you for your order and congratulations. Okay, um, let's see, maybe I'm gonna put that right there, right? So ladies, okay, I got a big old mess here. On our next Facebook Live two weeks from today, if you order through me, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win. This is such a cute stamp set. This is part of our online exclusive product. So you won't see it in the catalog, but it's called the Sophisticated Sled Stamp Set. There's an awesome set of dies that goes with this also. So sentiments include, I hope your days are filled with fun and laughter. <laughs> this is a cute one. Yay, exclamation point, all the way. So yay, all the way. That's cute, huh? Good tidings. Let it snow and let's decorate the season with happiness. Oh, I love that sentiment. That's that one right there, right? And then that beautiful kind of like toboggan sled, right? And some, um, what are those called? Ice skates, right? So kind of a very nostalgic looking stamp set, I would say. I feel like there's so much activity going on outside my window. I keep like, <laughs> I have a couple windows here in my craft room and I keep, uh, my eye keeps getting drawn to what's going on. So anyway, yeah, I'm like, okay, everything. So Storm, my puppy too, you, you guys are probably thinking, oh, it's so quiet. Or you probably aren't really thinking that at all, right? But I am because anytime, like I just heard a UPS truck go by and he always barks at the UPS man. Um, and so anyway, he's actually been hanging out with my kids in Grand Rapids for the past few weeks, um, going to Mackinac Island. And then there were just some other things um, that 
were kind of preventing me from maybe taking as well, I, I don't want to say taking as good care, but I was going to be gone. And so my kids were like, yeah, we love Storm. We want him to come stay with us. So they've been, he's been going back and forth from their apartments in Grand Rapids, hanging out with them and they are totally loving it. So I think I'm picking him up this weekend if they let me bring him back home. <laughs> so anyway, it's been kind of quiet around here. Okay. So I think, let's see. Yeah, <clears throat> we are going to flip the camera down. Okay, I've got my host codes. We're going to have that all ready to go there. Okay. All right, so turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. I'm going to show you some of those fun products that I received from that scrapbooking brochure because I want you guys to kind of understand what that is all about because it's pretty darn cool. Okay, so we have our host code. Um, let's see, I'm gonna grab my glasses. I'm fake running. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I really need to get to the doctor, I think. Let's see what is going on with this knee. Okay, so let's see. Um, I wanna make sure you guys can see my fingers, yes. Okay, all right, so there's our host code for the month. This is what you're gonna to wanna to use to order through me to get your name in the drawing to win that sophisticated sled stamp set. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. Where did I put my stuff? <laughs> I, like, I thought I, I had it on the floor and I looked and I'm like, where is it? So I actually moved it so I wouldn't have to bend over. So that's good of me, right? Okay, so this, <clears throat> is the paper that I used on that top five sales card, right? So this is called the Sweet Days of Autumn Designer Series Paper. And again, it is included in the scrapbooking brochure online only products, okay? So even though I've printed it, it's not really a printable thing that I can mail out to everybody, if that makes sense. But I think I could send you the link if you have a way to print in color so that you could have it kind of like I did as well. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. So this is, um, there are 12 sheets and I think you get three of each of them. So look at how cute those little forest animals are, right? Or maybe you get four, because I've already used one. So there's, there's three and that one makes four. And then here's the front and back of this one. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so that's six right there, and then seven. Yeah, so you get four of each sheet because there's another couple right there. Yeah, so three different front and back patterns, and you get four of each of them. So because this one is probably my favorite with the little trees and the animals on it, right? So again, you're not going to see that in any catalogs. It's only available online. You can also get, there's a sticker sheet that comes with this here. Let's just flip so you guys can kind of. <clears throat> okay, so the autumn to remember, there is a whole scrapbooking workshop kit that would include some of this paper. And then it's going to include stickers and other die cuts and basically step-by-step -step instructions to make these three two-page layouts with everything that comes in your workshop kit. It's only $42 and you get a bunch of 12 by 12 cardstock, designer series paper, some white cardstock. Um, what else? You get an ephemera sheet, which um, then you also get a sticker sheet and some other, another six by six pre-cut sheet. It says two plus photo placeholders. And again, instructions on how to put those pages together. So then you can also, like in my case, I just got the designer series paper. If you want, you can get the designer series paper and the sticker sheet. And then there's a stamp set, or you can get two-tone cardstock too. So you kind of get the idea, right? So here's the stamp set. Here's the two-tone cardstock. Here's the paper I just showed you. And here's a sticker sheet. So you can get just the paper or the paper and the sticker sheet together. Again, you'll find that all online. And so that's kind of the setup of all of these offerings here in our scrapbooking brochure. So same idea with that being said, I got, this is the Halloween designer series paper. Okay, that's going to be tossed on the floor now. This one is called the Halloween Spells designer series paper. And I am totally looking forward to playing with this cute paper. I'm going to make some cute like 
Halloween treat projects with it. Okay, so we have, that's like front and back. And pool party too. They've pulled like kind of a, I would say a non-traditional, definitely like the orange and the purple and the green and the black. Always, well, traditional, I would say, Halloween colors. This one you get three of each front and back. So there are four different patterns. Kind of a cute little stack of books there. And then some pumpkin pie polka dots on those three pages. This is... <clears throat> I'm going to say granny apple green. Ooh, and then fun black and white stripe on that pattern. And then one more. We've got our gorgeous grape. So cute, right? And then some more black and white kind of star pattern. So again, you get three of each of these front and back patterns. So cute, huh? So same idea though, there is a sticker sheet that goes with this. You could get just the paper or the paper and the sticker sheet, or there's a stamp set, or there is 12 by 12 cardstock in these coordinating colors that you can order also. Okay, then lastly, I'm gonna show you, I got one of, this is the full kind of workshop package kit. So this is everything. I think this one was $37 for this Reindeer Memories scrapbooking workshop package kit thingy is what I'm going to call it. Okay, so I'm going to show you this first of all. So these are all of the instructions, right? So they give you, <clears throat> they show you, okay, here's the first layout, the second layout, and the third layout. They tell you everything that you need, and then how to cut your paper, and then literally like step by step by step, how to put your pages together. I mean, look at this, right? And then they show you kind of all assembled, right? There's a left page and a right page, and then a left page and a right page, and a left page and a right page. Isn't this so? I'm just like, all of the work is done for you, so you don't even have to think about um, how to put a layout together. So super excited about this. They give you these little um, photo placeholder pieces so you're going to cut one picture pictures three by three three by four and four by six so that's kind of, that's helpful right these are some die cuts that you just kind of pop those out they're perforated right and then you get a couple of sheets of designer series paper and i think i think we figured out that these are some different patterns hello miss susan than what is in the regular reindeer designer series paper so some of them are two-sided designer series paper right and then some of them are single-sided so just white on the back but you get a couple of those and then a couple of these again with the white on the back right then I'm going to flip these. So this is the ephemera pack. So these are little perforated die cut thingies that you just pop out and add onto your pages. And then these are actual stickers. So these are a little bit different. So those, ooh, and the other thing that was kind of fun, can you see it tells you what project number they go on? So there's like very little thinking at all here, right? Sorry if I bumped that right. And then here is our new 12 by 12 cardstock. So it's two-tone, so a little bit... Uh, let's see, is that one darker? Yeah, there, how we go. This is the darker uh, garden green and then the lighter garden green, okay? So it's just like shades of, here, we'll flip this one over too. So now this is gonna be the lighter granny apple green and the darker granny apple green, right? And then some pool party, lighter pool party and darker pool party. So you kind of get the idea there, right? And then I think there's one sheet of real red. So that's the darker and that's the lighter, right? So look at all of this. For $37, you get some vanilla cardstock, and then you get some, this is, I think, willow white, I think it was called. Oh, and then there's actually, apparently, another piece of designer series paper that I had separately <laughs> in the package. So all of this for $37. Actually, maybe I'll pull that right up front there, right? And you end up with <clears throat> three two page layouts too. So very, very cool, fun. I cannot wait to put those pages together. Okay, maybe I'll be doing that at our one day retreat. I was thinking about that. What am I gonna work on? I don't get too much time, but there's a little bit of time. Um, so I usually, you know, do a little thing or two. Okay, mm -hmm. we are ready to do our stamping now. Okay, so again, we're gonna be using the Artful Amaryllis stamp and die set, right? I'm gonna grab my 
first, and we'll, hold on, I need, I'm going to show you my catalog too, because I can do that now too. It's very exciting. Okay, so this first card I basically cased from this page 48. Again, here, this is the stamp and die set that we're using. So you can get the stamp set for $19, the die set for $27, or you can get the bundle, both the stamps and the dies, for $41.25. So this is the card layout that I uh, kind of, uh, well, cased, basically. Um, so let me show you what I came up with, similar to that one. Okay. I wanted to use this beautiful Blackberry Bliss ribbon. Now, the one thing I will tell you is, and I'm gonna do a little experiment here. This, for this amaryllis, I don't know if you can see the sparkle too. So I used, this is Pebbled Path cardstock. So I stamped the outline in Pebbled Path and then um, stamped kind of the shading in Blackberry Bliss. And then I used my, um, what did I just call that? The Wink of Stella. <laughs> Um, but what happened was it kind of bled the purple, the Blackberry Bliss, so you can't see like the outline image as well, this one, right? Um, and so I'm going to stamp it in black this time, and I'm going to see how that looks. But this is kind of the idea, and if you can see, we use the little um, embossing. So this little guy right here, it doesn't actually die cut, it just does embossing. So super fun and cute, right? And then I did want to share with you guys too, this was a swap card that I received from Janice Waitman and so this also uses that artful amaryllis stamp and die set so you can see kind of the texture that the dies create um, when you just die cut cardstock also so okay <clears throat> all right got that got that oh and then lastly I love to share this with you too so I knew I wanted to use Blackberry Bliss on here and so I went to my little color coach and said, okay, what other colors do they suggest that you put with Blackberry Bliss? So this was, I thought, an interesting color combination with Blackberry Bliss, Peach Pie, and Pebbled Pass. So that's what I ended up using here, right? With our Blackberry Bliss in the ribbon and ink, Pebbled Path, and then a little sprinkle of the Peach Pie right there too. Okay, great um, color coach though. Love, love, love that. All right, so I have lots of little notes to myself. <laughs> I'm like, okay, trying to keep track of them all here. Okay, so we need our ink, and a wink of Stella. We're gonna put our stamps out here. Okay, all right, we'll scoot these guys over here. We are gonna need our dies, right? I'm gonna move the host code off of there for now. All right, so check out this beautiful Deb, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, so can you see the little gold edge? You can't sometimes, can you? But beautiful, the Blackberry Bliss ribbon. I think that's orderable right now. Like I said, I was gonna use um, the Cherry Cobbler ribbon and then I realized, oh, can't order that right now. So we don't wanna do that, do we? Okay, Do do do. where's my card? <laughs> I gotta keep myself on track here. <laughs> Oh, I hope you feel better, Deb. Yeah, it's kind of that time of year, isn't it, right? Um, let's see, I need this guy here too, though, right? Okay, so we are going to start. <laughs> I'm like very distracted today, apparently. Okay, so here we go. We've got our Pebbled Path cardstock, right? Our card base. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we're making a tall card. So we scored it at five and a half inches. Okay. So there's our card base, right? Then we have a piece of, um, this is that wood, whatever that's called, <laughs> the wood designer series paper from the annual catalog four inches by five inches. I will have the names. I will know the names when I get my blog post uh, put up this afternoon. Um, so also the names, the dimensions, the item codes, everything that you need to order to uh, make, recreate these cards will be on my blog this afternoon at Gathering Inc inspiration.com. Okay. Then I just have a couple of pieces of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting. And then, ooh, and so here you can see a little bit better because I did not use my Wink of Stella here. You can kind of see the outline a little bit better in there. But then here we're going to use that um, 
a piece of basic white cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter inches. <laughs> yes, isn't that, this, everyone loves that paper, right? So cute. It's like a kind of a pool party, distressed, right? So beautiful. Um, let me see, maybe I can. Can I pull that out right here? Oh yeah, I have it right here. It is the Country Woods. So this is <laughs> this is my pack. I've definitely used this a few times with you guys. Love this paper. So this is what I have left. But Country Woods is the name of that designer series paper. In case you're interested. Um, <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We are going to pick this one up right here. So this time I'm going to use black memento ink. Okay. So it's funny how that ink pad, it, almost, it doesn't look as um, dark, but now it does, right, when I'm looking at it here. Hello, Miss Vina. Welcome, welcome. Glad you can join us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That really, that's a lot darker than, <laughs> than I expected it to be based on how I was inking it, right? Okay. So here we go. I'm going to do that one right there. <clears throat> okay, and we are going to stamp that right there, okay? And I'm going to grab this little baby. Let's see. That makes a lot of noise, doesn't it, huh? Okay, got my little... There, should have had that open maybe before, huh? Okay. So there's that. Next, we are going to do the rest of our stamping here. Okay, so, ooh, and you know what else I need is a little scrap piece of paper. Do I have one of those? I do somewhere. Let's see. Okay. All right, because I wanna stamp off with my Blackberry Bliss ink. Okay. So let's see, we're gonna do this one. Okay, so we're gonna ink up our flowers in Blackberry Bliss. We're gonna stamp off, cause that's pretty dark. We're gonna make sure it's lined up properly or close enough. Okay, there we go. There's one, we're gonna stamp that off. And I'm gonna do that one there. Okay, then we also have this little baby right here to do that one right there. Stamp that one off. Do that one right there. Okay, and then we are gonna use some garden green ink for our leaves. And we're gonna stamp these off too. So we're gonna stamp that there. I'm gonna do that one there. Yay! So pretty, pretty, huh? And that one right there. And then I'm going to clean that green off <laughs> that kind of went off the edge there. So I don't get it on places I don't want it. Okay, there we go with that. All right, now we are going to stamp our sending happy thoughts in our peach pie ink. That is this one right here. Here we go. Can you guys see what we're doing? There, this little sending happy thoughts. All right, so cute, love that font. All right, so I think we are good here. Why did I just scoot those right there? All right, so we are gonna do our die cutting here, our die cutting here. Yes, okay, we're good. <clears throat> so this is, let me just show you before I grab my die cutting machine. These are the changing leaves dies that have a couple of labels in them. So we've got those little um, rectangles and then that circle. So that little circle with the stitching around the edges, you can see right there, right? We're gonna use that one there. And then we are going to use our Artful Amaryllis die. And it's just this big one right here is gonna go right on there, okay? All right, so I think we are good. Oh, and actually one other thing too, we're gonna use this little baby right here on our designer series paper. Let's put those there, okay. So let's see here. Let's scoot that one up there and this one here. Let's see if I can fit all of these 
on this one. I think maybe, oh yeah, because I have to run this two times. So I'm going to put that. I've kind of, I don't know if you guys, yes, you can see. Okay, good. I was like, am I? <clears throat> so we're going to run that there. I'm going to just do this one here, and then we're going to, we have to crank this through again so we can get that all the way across there. So check this out. Okay. Here we go. This one is like embedded in here. That happened the other day when I was doing this too. There, so you can see the little stitching, right? Hello, Miss Deb. Welcome, we've got two Debs watching today. That's fun. Okay, so then, let's see. Let me show you guys this one, right? Isn't this so pretty? Love that little detail right there, right? Okay, so now we are going to put this thing right here. Oh, maybe I should have done it. Oh, well, I think I can fit it. <laughs> um, yeah, probably had more room going the other way, but that's right, I think. We're gonna get this, no problem. Okay, and then we are gonna crank this handle and let me show you what we've got now. <clears throat> okay, so again, this little baby doesn't die cut, right? It just kind of embosses in there, right? It's, it's a little, I don't know, presses those little, that fun um, pattern really into it. Okay, and then we have our beautiful amaryllis. Blackberry Bliss amaryllis this time, right? Okay, so that is that. Where's the other? Okay, oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm like, where's the other clear plate? <laughs> I know I'm going to need it again, so I really want to make sure I have it handy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to grab some scissors and some adhesive and some dimensionals and I think we are all set. Okay, so why don't we just put some dimensionals on the back of this guy right now, right? That one, that one, and that one. Okay, so those are all ready to go, right? We are gonna put some adhesive. Yeah, this is so cool, isn't it? Love that pattern. This one's very pretty too. And then you just see that little bit of embossing detail. Okay. All right, we're gonna just put this on at a little bit of an angle. Okay. Do that one right there. Then we are going to add our amaryllis yeah now i'm like oh maybe we don't need wink of stella i'm gonna have to think about that what do you guys think should we put it on or no i love that the little sending happy thoughts and then we're going to tie a bow because it definitely kind of smears it quite a bit i love the sparkle that it gives but i think you can kind of the definition is a little bit better on kind of that stamping detail. Maybe we'll do it and we'll see if we like it or not, right? And if not, I can always do another one that doesn't. I do, I love the sparkle, um, but it definitely does bleed the color a little bit. Okay, let's see. Susan, what are you saying? The side looks nice. <clears throat> Does that mean you like this one with the sparkle and the color bled a little bit? I'm thinking. I'm glad you like it, Miss Susan. Thank you. All right, we've got that little bow going right there, right? I love this ribbon. <clears throat> Where are you putting the greeting? Do you see it? I put it right here, the sending happy thoughts. So I've got that right there, right? And then on the inside, we're gonna put this piece right inside there, okay? There we go. All right, so we're gonna add this one right here. <laughs> okay, there. So 
Love that though, isn't that gorgeous, right? Okay, so then we're gonna add, okay, so let's do, we're gonna add our, um, oops, those all fell right off. So these are the In Color Gems, right? These are called, yeah, the In Color Shimmer Gems. I've got just a few of the peach pie ones left, but that is what we are going to put on our card. Right, I thought it needed a little bit. That's why I ended up with the Wink of Stella and these gems, because I'm like, oh, we need a little bit of sparkle on here, don't we, right? So we're gonna add a few gems around, right? I kind of went crazy with my gems this time, right? <clears throat> there we go, okay. Sophia, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're gonna finish off with our Wink of Stella so let's see. I don't, I always kind of, somebody, I, I remember learning like, don't shake it. You just kind of roll it back and forth in your hands. I have a little bit of ink on there, but it's not too bad, right? Okay. And then we're just going to kind of squeeze. Yeah. Do you see how it's, but that's kind of softening it up a little bit, I think, right? That's interesting how it does that. I guess because it's a little bit wet, right? So we're just going to add a little bit of sparkle on there. So maybe I did too much. I think I was like going crazy with that one. So maybe just a little bit of Wink of Stella goes a long way, right? So thank you, Sophia. I'm glad that you like that card. I'm having fun with this stamp set too. So there's our first project. Again, it's this ribbon too. The ribbon and the stamp set, right? Plus the paper. It's all of it, really. Okay, so card number one. We are done with that one. Let me show you our next project. Here we go. This is a beautiful, so I looked up to um, an amaryllis, like what does it actually look like? And it's these beautiful red flowers. So check this one out, right? Same idea with that pretty um, bow kind of going across the bottom of the card, but this time I used, I do have it right here, yes, okay. <clears throat> so this is called, yes, it's the Regal Winter Designer Series paper. So this is the paper that we used on our meeting make and takes that I showed you earlier. So beautiful paper, right? So this is the pattern that I used right here for those flowers, but isn't that one beautiful also? And then, and so it's all of these really deep, rich, beautiful colors that are in here. So let's see, we've got a couple more to share with you guys, right? Check out like all of these beautiful tones, right? Isn't that gorgeous? Even those two are pretty, like still again, the wild wheat, mm, I'm not totally sure, but this is beautiful, I think. So yeah, gorgeous set of designer series paper. And then I'm gonna kind of jump ahead and show you guys because this is actually the back side of, this is called the Seasons of Elegance designer series paper. So one side is this beautiful kind of marbled um, with gold kind of look. And then the other one is um, no gold. It's still kind of a marbly look, right? So this is the pattern that I used right here. And then there's the back side that I used on that one. So again, you could get all of this paper, one six by 12 piece of each of these in the designer series paper share. If you're interested, isn't that this like, it's kind of like um, like a painter's palette almost. <clears throat> all right, my throat's getting dry. I'm gonna start getting all coffee on us. <laughs> Ooh, that's beautiful too. I love, this is gonna be, what is it? Um, Lost Lagoon maybe, Pretty Peacock. Beautiful, right? So another gorgeous pack of designer series paper right there too. Okay, yes, lots of beautiful paper again, only $38 for the paper share. If you're interested, you get all of those pretty patterns of paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to get everything out here. Oopsie, I'm throwing my ink around. That's not so good. Okay, so let me... Oh yeah, I have this teeny weeny little, so I was trying to help myself out and get some of these things caught already. Hello, Mr. Mike, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Hope you're having a great morning. Okay, so I'm gonna help myself out and I'm gonna put, <laughs> I'm gonna put that little baby, because what happens is 
with these dies, you have to cut one, two, three, four, and then two of those little baby things. I don't know if you can see those there, but there, I only have one set of dies to do that. So I helped myself out and did a couple of um, flowers. I already die cut them, but isn't them beautiful, right? With the, the kind of pattern from the designer series paper. And then the texture that is created with the dies too. Barbara, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna try to, I lost one of those the other night, so I'm gonna try not to lose <laughs> lose one right now. Okay, so, oh, and then on the inside too, we did some stamping right here with this. You made my day, thanks, you made my day. So let's go ahead and do that stamping so we can do all of our die cutting. Okay, so we've got this one and this one are all we need for our stamping and then we'll come back and do our die cutting. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Cherry cobbler ink is what we have right here, right? Um, where's the, th oh, the, here's the thanks. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a little loopy now, ladies. Okay, so we've got our thanks right there. It's so cute too, don't you love that font, right? And then we've got this one that says, you made my day, thanks, you made my day. Okay, simple, all right, simple, simple. Okay, so we're gonna scoot those babies out of the way. This is all good to go. You know what I didn't tell you guys about was measurements, so let's do that real quick too. There actually aren't, <laughs> it's really only um, the card base, cherry cobbler cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches another tall folded card for us. And then the only other measurement, because everything else is just kind of scrap pieces, is that inside piece right here. This is basic beige cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter. So that's gonna go right there. <clears throat> yes, oh, Vina, I know the paper is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, all of, all of that, that really, so it's, um, I mean, I think, it, what was it called? Regal Winter, but I, it's beautiful for like fall projects too, I think. Um, so yeah, and then this is beautiful also, right? That distressed paper. So we're gonna do our die cutting. I think I have all my dies, right? So we're gonna use, this is the Countryside Corner set of dies. So we're gonna use the biggest die right here. That's gonna go on there, okay? And then we're gonna use this little label right there on our thanks. These are the dies that Tammy just won, the iconic imagery dies. Love these dies. Yeah, Linda, I didn't know what an amaryllis was, I guess. Um, at least I don't remember <laughs> if I did know at one time. Um, but yeah, I think they're absolutely beautiful too. And then we're gonna use, so this is Mossy Meadow, the designer Regal Winter Designer Series paper, and then some early espresso for the rest of our flowers. Okay, so let's grab our die cutting machine. Okay. So I think what we're gonna do, probably have to run a couple things. Will that one go? Nope, I'm gonna have to go this way, aren't I? Okay, so we're gonna do this big label and then our thanks. We'll do both of those and then we'll come back and make our flower. So you guys see when the die is moving, you just have to move your paper. I always jokingly, but not really jokingly say, you cannot fight the magnetic field of our magnetic plate. Hello, Anna. Lots of new faces joining today. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate uh, all the new friends popping on. This is awesome. Okay, so there's our little thanks right there. <clears throat> and then just this label, right? Isn't that beautiful? Just kind of a nice backdrop. So you could use that more sparkly, right? Now I'm like tempted. Should I have done? We'll see. Maybe we'll use that one this time. Hmm. Huh. The possibilities, ladies, right? You guys. I think it was Nikki who coined the crafter math. Serious crafter math happening there's just so I'm gonna say so much junk everywhere but it's not really junk but it kind of <laughs> kind of looks like a junky mess right now for me but that's right <clears throat> we will get it all taken care of okay so again from our amaryllis dies right so we've got these little this is what I was talking about that I was trying to help myself out so these are the dies you get two of them but I need four so I already cut two and then that little baby 
Actually, is it this one? We're going to use this one. Nope, we're going to use this one. I don't even know which one it is, but that one's coming off easier. And then this teeny weeny little guy. I feel like they should have made two of these, though. That would be handy if we had two of those. Diana, hello. Okay. All right, so we're going to run all of these things through. Okay, just have to have them on the paper somewhere. Okay, not hanging off the edges. I think we're good. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, getting dry, scratchy throat. <laughs> good morning, good morning. All right, okay, so don't lose that little baby, right? Okay. <laughs> And then this one. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need to pop those out. That happened before. Okay, that one stayed in there. And that one stayed in there. Okay, so we just have one we need to pop out. Let's see. Maybe if I use, so I'm kind of cheating. If I don't, if I don't hurt myself, this will work well. If not, I'm going to grab my paper piercing tool. Let's see. I feel like it should make it pop out, right? But I also don't want to cut myself because these are serious. I always say if ever there's an intruder in the house, grab your paper snips. I don't think they'd survive if you could get to them. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Why am I even saying that? But, you know, I mean, you do need to have an idea, right, of how you would defend yourself. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> Here we go. Getting a little loopy. There. Now I feel that one popping right out. There we go. So, can you see that beautiful texture? Gorgeous. All right, and then these are right there, aren't they? Yeah, so we've got this one and that little, this little teeny guy. <laughs> Don't want to lose that. We'll see. And then this is cool. This is very cool too, right? The stems of our flower. Okay, we're going to just put all of that right there. Okay. All right, I think we are ready to put things together, ladies. We're going to put this piece on the inside and get that one kind of set right there. Okay, now what do we think? Let's kind of build this and see. It might be, yeah, why not? We're going to try. So those go there. Yeah, let's use this side. That's really kind of fun. What's bugging me, and it's really not a big deal, but I feel the ridge um, because I put the die down as if I were using this side. But I think it's I'm going to be okay. It's going to be all right. We're going to just go with it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, what fun, huh? Okay, well, you guys can tell me when we're all done which one you like better with the sparkly gold or the more muted kind of matte colors, right? Okay, so we're gonna do that one, that one, there. All right, so we're gonna build these little babies. We're gonna just do that and that. So I love using my little silicone mat. It makes this so easy. You know what, I think I did. Those look the same. Hold on, yeah, we're gonna put this one and that one together there. They are a little bit different. So I was kind of putting the same two together and I didn't want to do that. Sheila, hello. Welcome. I'm so glad you can be here with us. Um, Let's see, are we good? Yeah, so I'm gonna put, flip those over. And again, just if you work on your little silicone mat, then, oh, that's, I was like, what is going on? I have the wrong adhesive. Um, There, that's the like, the super fast, it's not fast fuse, right? But it's, it kind of comes off in little bits like that. That's gonna be all right though. Okay, we're gonna put this one right on there and that one right on there, okay? And then we're gonna just run adhesive on these pieces. There we go, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> It's great to see you too, Sheila. Thanks for joining us. All right, we're gonna, I wanna kind of curl those up just a bit. So we're gonna do that one there. I'm gonna curl this one right there. And then we're gonna just add that little baby. I'm gonna kind of add him maybe 
right there, we'll say, a little flower kind of poking out. And then we're gonna add, beautiful, right? The, again, this is called the Wild Wheat Rustic Striped Ribbon. It's just so pretty and it's really easy to work with. Um, this is the one that we used also on our meeting make and takes that we, if you cut along, say either of those edges, then you can pull all the strands apart and have lots of fun with all of that little, with all the little strands too. Okay, so we're gonna make our little bow and then we're gonna add our thanks and a couple of gems and we will have our second card created. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got our little bow there. So we're gonna do that one there. I'm gonna trim, that one's getting a little frayed, so I'm gonna trim that down just a little bit. Okay, we are gonna use, actually let's put this one on here, right? We're gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind our thanks. We're gonna add this on here. Okay, actually I'm gonna scoot that up just a touch. Put that thanks right there. And then we're going to add a couple of, these are the iridescent foil gems. And they're beautiful, um, just have that little bit of gold kind of sparkle to them. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna add that one right there. And then I just put a couple right in the center of our flowers. So we're gonna just add those right there. <clears throat> And there we go, ladies. We have our cards created. Let's see, where is my... <laughs> Can I find... Well, I can't find it. So we're going to just use this one. Oh, here it is. Now I can find it. It's way down here on the floor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so... Here we go. As usual and as always, I'm close to earning the trip. If you are at all thinking about putting an order in, please use this host code, the 9RW7QRDW, right? I love to give you lots of fun goodies as a thank you for your order. If you use this host code, you're going to get one of each of those projects that I demonstrated today. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win this sophisticated sled stamp set. And don't forget, look at all this stuff, ladies, right? You get an additional five free cards as a thank you from me. And there's more you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial for September or a pack of free gems. Okay, so all this as a thank you for your minimum $50 order. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. I hope you enjoyed. I had a great time hanging out with you guys. Love seeing the new faces. Share the video, please. Love to get more new faces hanging out with us. Hello, Anna, and have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Thank you.